What is going on guys? It is your boy Dike the Aimer back in with another video here on Minecraft Bedrock. Now something that has continuously been asked to me over the last few months is about mining methods on Bedrock. Now someone who previously never played Bedrock, I was never able to give you guys any answers as the best mining method or you know does this method work from Java on Bedrock? What the heck is going on? So hopefully today, I'm going to be able to figure out myself what the best methods are for mine. I'm going to be testing out the CAS method to see if it works. Uh, mining in a straight line, cave exploring. I don't think the lapis method that I uploaded a video on a few days ago works. I think some of those like really technical chunk based uh, methods aren't going to be working just because Bedrock doesn't have chunks just like Java does. But as always, if you guys end up enjoying today's video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like. And of course, if you guys are new, consider subscribing. It's free, it takes two seconds, and you can change your mind at any time. After last video, we are absolutely kidded out. Have literal, pretty much God armor. You pretty much have God armor. Uh, we have God gear. It, we're, 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 we're set for, for literal life. And so I need to go to new chunks because I actually made this world on Minecraft 1.16. So I'm not gonna have any of the new 1.17 blocks. I don't. I only have two pieces of copper, even though I've done so much mining. Uh, so we're gonna hopefully be able to get some of that going on. And you know what? I'm just gonna make another portal really quick. Like I actually want to go to the nether just because I wanna get a bucket of lava. I need like some sort of trash can trash shoot for this area and I don't have one. So you know what? Right here, this seems, this seems about a good enough place uh, to go to the nether, I would say. And all right, there we go. We're off to the nether. I didn't really plan on doing this. I just realized I need to chuck away things. I haven't found lava at all for some reason. Holy crap, what the heck? Whoa, that is, okay. That was scary. I was walking the wrong way. It wasn't letting me go anywhere. And sick, I don't even spawn near lava. This is the nether. And I can't find lava? You know what we're doing, boys? We're mining. Now, we're digging a tunnel down, which is arguably one of the stupidest things you can do in Minecraft. But I need some lava. I'm just so... I just need some lava. Like, please. Oh, what a spawn. Hey, what a freaking spawn. I gotta go bridge over here. This is not what I want. I want to go mining. If this takes too long, I'll just abandon the, the lava project for now. I just... I just don't want to... I have so many random crappy items I don't care about. I want them out of my inventory. Okay, yeah, this looks like it'll take a while. I have Feather Falling 4 boots, so I could take a pretty hefty fall, but I, I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to go mining. That's all I want to do. So we'll come back another time. <laughs> Unfortunately, not able to really explore because my other portal's in a horrible, horrible location. All right, the first thing that you need in bedrock is food if you're gonna be gone from base for an extended period of time i i even i have i know this i haven't even gone on any mining trips i've gone on like five minute mining trips and the thing that i always need is food so i've got myself 32 cooked beef and i also have 40 sticks so that any coal i find along the way I'll be able to turn into, of course, torches because on bedrock, there's no sort of optifine, there's no Fulbright, and it gets dark really fast. It gets pitch black almost immediately on bedrock if you decide to go mining without torches. So uh, you, you need those in handy, and typically on Java, you don't really need a lot of that. You don't need that much food. And then also, I'm going to get some water just in case uh, I have to do any treacherous exploration to go down, uh, or it's obviously lava. Lava is something i'm assuming there's still caves in bedrock don't know why there wouldn't be caves so it's pretty a pretty standard approach to mining just gonna make sure you come prepared and i'm gonna try to go uh, a few hundred blocks away maybe a thousand ish blocks away is that a sea temple no okay yeah i don't know why but i th that glow stuff always tricks me up <laughs> why does sprinting look so <laughs> funny in this game Looks like I'm just going slow-mo for some reason. Oh, that is great. All right, so about a thousand blocks from our original location. And I think I'm just gonna like, I might just dig straight down, right? Okay, I, I, I won't, whoa, okay, that's not fun. Never mind. get me out of here. As much as I want to dig straight down, I know deep down it's much safer to just build a little staircase. I mean, also considering efficiency four, you know, and break it three, the pickaxe is chilling. We, we, we got a good enough pickaxe to chop down uh, to Y level 11, which is where I'm gonna do my first test is at Y level 11. Oh my gosh. 
fortune and iron. I needed that so bad. Okay, and so there is copper uh, generated right there, which means we are in one of the new 1.17 uh, chunks or areas of this map. So that's all I really need to make sure was that we weren't digging in a 1.16 chunk because like I said, accidentally started this world a 1.16. Complete mistake on my end. Uh, but I didn't really venture very far, so I don't have many 1.16 chunks loaded in. And oh my gosh, I'm finding so many ores and it's so good. I spent, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half, two hours mining to get like a stack of iron the other day. And I just got right there, uh, a stack of iron and like three minutes just digging down. I like bedrock already, boys. Let me tell you something. And there we go. Our first bit of deep slate. Now, to make this super simple, I'm literally going to be going in a straight line for the first little bit just to get my bearing. Uh, I, I mean, but already it just seems so similar to Java. And this is, I think, something that Minecraft wouldn't mix up very much compared uh, to Java. I don't really see them switching up the mining methods too much. But one thing I want to test off the bat is can I cast method or can I at least get this water? Okay. Oh, I'm going so fast right now. I don't even have to jump. I am literally flying through these. This is ridiculous. I am zooming through these blocks at unprecedented speeds. The only problem is I can't freaking see where I'm going. Oh my gosh. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. That is so much more broken than Java. Like I thought Java was pretty good with, with, the, with the cast method and hopping in one block right there. But that's a whole nother level. Jeez. And yeah, man, not having Fulbright, I take it for granted so much because, geez, it is so dark in these caves. But I just want to see, um, you know, if we get any cave diamonds, what the vibes are with that. If we get more diamonds, just doing regular strip mines. Oh, yeah, screw this. I'm getting right back in this little one by one hole. It is a bit weird. Like, yeah, you have to be like over halfway in it. It's it just weird. It's get, we're getting is weird uh, on Bedrock. But look, literally, look. I could just zoom around here. My, oh, you literally can't. Oh my God. You can't even see my character right now. What is this? You just see the inside of my character's skull. That is, it's a bit disconcerting. You actually can't even jump right now. I'm trying to jump and I wasn't able to. So it seemed like the mechanics for swimming and mining uh, are a bit different for Bedrock, but geez, it it's better. I'll tell you, you you're a lot faster, but the only thing is, it doesn't matter if I'm fast. It only matters if I can use it to find diamonds. So that's what we'll do. Uh, for, for right now, I think this is for sure my go-to method. All I got to do is keep keep going. Be persistent. Keep my eyes out as well because finding these diamonds moving at this fast. Okay, well, yeah, well, there you go. I was about to say finding diamonds moving this fast might be a little bit hard. Don't care, I guess. I guess Minecraft is like, don't care, bro. Holy crap. We already have 23 diamonds. And... You know what? I'm going to go and start a timer from right now, from the first bit of diamonds I find, we'll do like, a, we'll do a, th a nice 30 minute test because like, like I always say, no one wants to sit down for two hours and mine diamonds like I normally do. Uh, so we're going to get a nice 30 minute test going on uh, and just see. I got a good feeling about this one. I got, I got a pretty good feeling. The only thing I can really see as a downside is you might move a little bit too fast. Honestly, okay. If you're not paying attention, you might accidentally fall into like a lava pit. If you're not paying attention, that was a minute. It's that was a minute and 17 seconds. And that's the next vein of diamonds that I just found on Y level. I'm doing this on Y level 12. So I stand on Y level 11. So that way, whenever I'm in the actual crawling animation, I'm on Y level 12, as you guys can see right above my head. Um, but that's, that's great. We have 32 diamonds um, in like two minutes. That's, that's great with me. Now, what I want to see, though, is... Oh, okay. Well, that's just, uh... That's a bit lucky. That's, that's not really anything other than absolute insane luck. But, once again, I'm not complaining. I was going to ask, though, is... Am I going to be able to find any exposed diamond uh, ore using this method? Now, that doesn't really count because I had to mine to get those blocks... Uh, and that was just by chance I happened to mine those specific blocks. Uh, but what I mean by exposed is like if I'm just in a cave 
and I'm running around? Am I going to find diamonds on the ground, on the ceiling? Uh, anything like that, because that is a huge benefit, typically on Java, of this Minecraft method, uh, is the ability to be able to just run around and find diamonds. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, like I said, you move a bit fast. You gotta keep your eyes peeled when you're doing this method, just because it is so, so risky. So, drop a torch here, maybe go explore a bit, peek my head around some corners. Um, I haven't actually used up nearly as much health as I thought I was going to. Uh, it's hunger, which is good. Maybe this method doesn't use as much hunger because you're technically, I mean, actually you're not really sprinting because I guess in Bedrock's head, you're just like walking around, but you're swimming around. I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I haven't had to eat any steak this entire trip, which is great. Oh, and there we go. I was just wondering if I was gonna run across any um, veins. Okay, literally, in five minutes, under five minutes, we have 51 diamonds. That, oh my God. Oh my God, did I just die? I just died. I can't do. Wow. 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 Um, well, that is literally the first time I've ever died in my entire career of Minecraft that specific way. Placing water on a block of stone, I think it was. And then the gravel around me updated, fell down. I went under the lava and then the lava turned to obsidian. That's why I couldn't go up. The lava above my head turned to obsidian. So I have just lost 99% of what I owned in this game. I kid you not. I have seven diamonds. Uh, so all I can make is an enchanted pick and then I have 16 iron so I can't even really get much going on in terms of armor uh, So I can just afford enough for a shovel uh, a sword and a pickaxe I mean hey if like I said guys, I'm showing you how you know just my raw experience I don't want to sugarcoat anything I don't know anything to, to come off in a manner that it's not. And I'm actually, I have 11 lapis. And now I have to go back, grind up some lapis down below or something. Because I have zero enchanted. I have zero XP. I got, I got nothing. All right, let's see though. Good thing I have this crazy XP farm made up. Let me actually see how much XP I get from level zero. I got 14 levels of XP. I just, got, I'm at 20. In two seconds, I'm at 20 levels of XP. Oh my gosh. I didn't realize it was this good. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. I'm actually, okay, a little bit happy I died. I'm going to be honest because that is crazy cool. So let's go ahead. I would love to get a fortune. Oh, I, I really need a fortune. If I don't get any good enchants, if I don't get any enchants at all, the only thing I want is a fortune enchant because without fortune uh it's it's pretty rough to be honest to go out and do any sort of of mining uh another silk touch that's you can't have silk touch um with with that so let's chuck in a sword nope let's maybe enchant the shovel a silk touch shovel you know what whatever i i've had worse so let's get some more levels it's very convenient it just, just works out and i just infinitely get this stuff. I'm breaking three. Come on. Another silk touch? I only have two lapis. I have two lapis. If I can't find any more lapis uh, down low, what I... Honestly, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm just gonna have to use a silk touch pickaxe because I don't have anything else. So this is my this is my old mine shaft. I need to go get some... I had, Is that all my coal? I think I literally use every last bit of coal I own for that. So now I have to go make charcoal for these torches. Man, I am just, I am down so bad today. That was, that was so unfortunate. Uh-oh, more gravel and lava? Oh no, it's just a torch. It's just my previous area I've already been to. Whew, got a bit scared. I didn't want, I didn't want a repeat of what just happened. Ooh, oh, a cave? Wait, have I been here? Okay, I've been here, but that's fine because hopefully I can find some lapis spawns and caves because that's probably 
I feel like it's my best bet. Well, I return empty-handed, which isn't that bad, considering I got an efficiency four and breaking three pickaxe. We'll actually be able to see just how many diamond ores we get. I'm gonna go back out and mine. I'm gonna go back to the exact same mine shaft, but I'm just waiting. I think that's enough uh, to make iron armor. I mean, I, I don't wanna walk out there with all that I have left and have no armor on me. So we'll at least have the decency to be ironed up. Uh, I have no lapis. I have, I ran out of lapis, so I can't enchant anything. And we're stuck uh, with the harsh reality that sometimes things don't go your way in Minecraft. You know, it's, it's unfortunate, but at the end of the day, that's just Minecraft. Some days you're, you're winning and you're getting all the diamond finds. You're doing all the achievements. And then other days, you know, it, it can be quite rough. So, looks like it's one of those days. Hey, well, good thing getting back to my mind shaft was super easy. I remember how to do that. I mean, at least, at least I can do something right this video. Oh, I don't have a bucket. Okay, good thing I have 15. Magically, I have 15 iron on me. But I want to keep testing this method. This method is so weirdly good that I need this water bucket to keep testing this, this uh, one block method. Because it is just getting me so many diamonds right now. All right, so I went straight. Uh, I think I'm going to go to the right, maybe 20, 30 blocks. I just don't like running into the same caves whenever I mine, especially if I want to test this method and all of its true potential. I think most of its potential is going to come from uh, a, a good mix of ship mining and, and cave exploration. So in order to find new caves, obviously I'm just going to go uh, have to dig quite a bit far away just to see if I can't locate something new. Once again... And if you guys are even confused on how I'm entering this, uh, all I'm doing is I'm entering the sprint mode, uh, where it's, I'm not just going up and, you know, bonking my head. I'm sprinting first. So as you can see in the top left-hand corner, my guy is swimming animation. I go up inside the hole, and as soon as I'm in the hole, you can let go of your, you know, your movement key or WASD or your controller, uh, and you can just pick up the water, and then you're here. There's no special movements you have to do. There's no sort of weird tricks, no cheat codes. I probably should have explained that because... For me, this method is extremely simple, extremely easy to do. Uh, but that's how you do it. You just enter the sprinting animation while you're in water. And the easiest way to do that is for a one by one hole, not a two by one or anything like that. There's, there's a reason I'm doing this into a one by one hole. It's the easiest. And for what I found the most effective uh, way to mine in Minecraft, and it used to be super, super, super effective uh, in Java, but recently it's kind of slowed down a bit. But that's why I'm super excited to be testing this right now because I'm like, bro. It just revived the cast method. Blue axolotl, let's go. Not the rare one. Pink axolotl, brown axolotl, baby axolotl. What in the... Bro, it's just the axolotl uh, hangout spot down here. I'm still... Yes. Let's see, I'm still looking for lapis. I feel like the spider's gonna hop on me. Oh, and well, there you have it. A whole other little gravel patch just fell and don't really know what happened there. Oh, yes. Freaking more lapis. So at least whenever I head back... I could turn these uh, into regular lapis. Uh, obviously, there's a lapis ore, and I can't chant with lapis ore, but we're fine. We found lapis. That's that's the important thing. So even if I don't get diamonds, we got lapis. Oh, finally. Get our first diamond find. It's going to be... What are we thinking? There's three ores? That's not bad. That's not really what I was looking for. Three ores. Obviously, if I fortune it... That could turn into something like, uh, what, eight, eight or eight diamonds? Uh, like nine or ten if I'm really lucky. Oh, but there you go. There you go. Oh, my, dude, this gravel is out to get me. Oh, my gosh. No one let me know gravel is like the number one killer in Minecraft. This is ridiculous. I'm going to do slot for deep slate diamond doors. We're at six diamond door. Just pretty good. Good. I mean, once again, fast, efficient, a little risky though. This method is definitely pushing the boundaries of how risky I'd like to be when it comes to mining. And you really gotta stay on your toes when you're doing it. But so far, I'll just go ahead and multiply everything by 2.5. I feel like, let's say if, if I find a stack of diamond ores, I usually with Fortune 3 will end up getting somewhere in the ballpark uh, of like a 2.5x multiplier. So uh, I'll just... Multiply all the diamond ores that I find by 2.5x. Uh, there's no sort of math or logic behind that. That's just what I feel like is what typically happens. But if I wanted to play a bit of a, of a safer guesstimate, it'd be around a 2x multiplier for fortune. Yeah, I'm noticing there are significantly more gravel patches in Bedrock than there are in Java. I The gravel patches I'm running into, I'm running into them very often. And as well, they're very large. Like, 
they have they're they're I feel like they're 10 tall and they're 20 deep and it's it's quite ridiculous so i'm not really surprised i died to gravel uh earlier on okay don't know what's going on above me maybe this is the diamond lightning gods striking it <laughs> It is. Let's go. I have never heard that many lightning strikes. Maybe in my life in Minecraft. All of a sudden, boom, eight stack fame of diamonds. So now we're up to 15 diamond ore, which, like I said, 2.5x multiplier puts us almost at 40 diamonds. Uh, and we had 50 when we died. So we would be at a stack and a half of diamonds. And this is maybe 20 minutes. Uh, I spent a considerable amount of time getting started getting over here. I'll say I'll say 30 minutes I'll say 30 minutes stack and a half of diamonds uh, without the death is the total we'd be sitting at right now Obviously things happen. We died, but that's okay Wait, did I just figure out <gasps> Amethyst crystal thingy. Let's go. Oh inside of a cave too Interesting. Well, uh, I might come back to this one day to get these things for a build. All right, this is probably the last cave I can explore uh, just because it's reaching about the hour mark. And even though I know uh, me dying in gravel had absolutely nothing to do with this mining method whatsoever, you know, it happened. And so I gotta, I gotta factor it into my timing. Uh, I still am pretty happy. I've had a lot of reports. Uh, I've been streaming Java for about a year now. And I have had countless reports, people saying, you know, on Bedrock, they can't find any diamonds. The diamond methods suck. I don't know. Either you guys can call me the luckiest player to ever touch this game. Or I, you know, just use a pretty good method. And you guys could try this out too. Um, I am not going to, I don't want to speak like some, uh, you know, knowledge expert on the game. Because I'm just really not. But what I will say is I feel like this method has the potential to be the fastest method to find diamonds in the game. Strictly because you're able to fly through these blocks at such an astounding rate. You enter caves quicker. Uh, you're obviously just mining, you're strip mining quicker. Did I lose two of those? I think I lost one of those ores. But we're ending up 11, 7, that's 18. Uh, ores, which, you know, I can't be mad with. Using our calculations on the lower end, that's around 40 diamonds. Uh, on the higher end of finding diamonds, though, uh, that's upwards of like 55 diamonds on the 50 diamonds I already had. And I've only been mining for like 40 minutes. I've been in uh, mining mode, like actively mining for around 35 minutes, I would have to guess. 35, maybe 40 minutes. And that's good. So my only concern with this method uh, would have to be the fact that it is dangerous. Uh, and you just have to know what you're doing. You have to practice with this uh, and you know, but but like I said, it's got the potential To be crazy I Have never found 50 diamonds in you know that span of time especially on bedrock of all platforms people could you know Say that finding diamonds is incredibly hard. So I'm impressed with this method. If you guys want to test it out for yourself, obviously you can. I feel like I explained it well enough, uh, but I stand on Y level 11. I mine the hole looking straight forward, and then because of that, I'm standing on uh, Y level 12 right now, or I guess crawling on Y level 12. Well, hopefully you guys end up enjoying today's video once again. About a stack and a half of diamonds is what I would have ended up with, uh, but we got a little bit screwed, and we only have uh, 18 ores, and I'm gonna wait to get a fortune pick to get those mined up, but if you wanna test out this method once again, I think it's incredibly fun if you've never used it before, and it is much better on Bedrock than it is on Java. I know there's been some weird diamond generation issues recently in Bedrock, but I've heard they've got those fixed, uh, so make Make sure you generate some new chunks whenever you go mining to make sure you got the latest and greatest areas to go mining in for diamonds. Uh, but once again, thank you so much for stopping by today's video. It's been a more Duck of the Gamer, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.